The Enuma Elish, an ancient Babylonian creation myth, was discovered in the ruins of the city of Nineveh in the 19th century. This epic poem, inscribed on seven clay tablets, dates back to the 12th century BCE. It provides a fascinating glimpse into the Babylonian worldview and their gods, particularly the rise of Marduk, the hero of the story. Now let us journey back to the time when gods walked the earth and the cosmos was shaped by their mighty deeds. In the time before time, the universe was a swirling chaos, dominated by two primordial deities, Apsu, the god of fresh waters, and Tiamat, the goddess of salt waters. From their union, the younger gods were born, boisterous and full of life. Their exuberant clamor echoed through the cosmos, disturbing the tranquil depths of Apsu. Yearning for peace, Apsu decided to eliminate his noisy offspring. He confided his plan to his vizier, Mumu, and together they conspired against the younger gods. However, the gods learned of Apsu's deadly intent. Fear gripped their hearts until one among them, Ea, the god of wisdom and magic, devised a plan. Ea cast a powerful spell that put Apsu into a deep sleep, then with a swift and decisive strike, he killed him. He claimed Apsu's domain and built his home upon the waters, bringing a temporary peace. But the peace was short-lived. Tiamat, grieving the loss of her consort, was consumed by rage. In her fury, she gave birth to an army of monstrous creatures, terrible and fearsome, to wage war against the younger gods. At the head of this dread legion, she placed Kingu, her chosen champion, bestowing upon him the Tablet of Destiny, a powerful artifact that granted him supremacy. The gods, once again, were thrown into turmoil. Desperate and terrified, they turned to Marduk, the mightiest among them, for salvation. Marduk, young and powerful, agreed to confront Tiamat, but only if he were granted absolute authority. The gods, seeing no other hope, consented. Marduk armed himself with a net, a bow, and summoned the mighty winds to his aid. He prepared for battle, his heart steeled for the confrontation with the primordial terror. The clash was titanic, shaking the very foundations of the cosmos. Marduk's winds trapped Tiamat, and with a mighty roar, he loosed his arrow, striking Tiamat and splitting her in twain. From Tiamat's sundered body, Marduk fashioned the heavens and the earth. Her eyes became the sources of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, and her body was sculpted into the mountains and valleys. The cosmos, once chaotic, was now ordered and shaped by Marduk's hand. In the aftermath of his victory, Marduk took Kingu captive and used his blood to create humankind. These new beings were designed to serve the gods, to uphold the order Marduk had established. The gods, grateful and awed by Marduk's prowess, built the magnificent city of Babylon in his honor, making it the center of the world and a testament to their protector's might and wisdom. The Enuma Elish is not merely a story of creation, but a profound reflection on power, order, and the eternal struggle between chaos and stability. It offers a glimpse into the minds of the ancient Babylonians and their understanding of the universe and their gods. Thank you for joining us on this journey through ancient Babylonian mythology. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe for more breathtaking tales from the annals of history and mythology. Stay tuned for our next adventure.